I just watched a movie, Don't Worry Darling, directed by Olivia Wilde. To me, it is a woke Hollywood pushback on Jordan Peterson conservative views. Quick summary of the plot. Alice and Jack live in this ideal neighborhood. Colorful houses, colorful cars, beautiful wives, beautiful dresses, what appears to be 1950s time period. Uh, wives so see their husbands off to go to work at the same time, they go back home, they clean, then they get together for a drink by the pool or a ballet class, then they rush home to uh, prepare dinner for their husbands, and then they cheerfully open the door, beautifully dressed, uh, greeting their husbands. And then we see also passionate sex in that film, and everything seems perfect until there is a glitch in the system brought in by the nearby neighbor that says that something else is going on. Uh, so there is headquarters where the husbands work. Wives don't know what they do. There's some sort of engineer and they work on this secret project and their wives are not allowed to go to headquarters. And Alice goes and she sees something that she wasn't supposed to see and she cannot turn back time. Now she knows more than she is allowed to know. Towards the end of the movie we realize that this is actually Nowadays, what's happening, what seems to be a cult uh, created, uh, formed in a desert and uh, Alice's life before she was brought into this community, basically forced by her husband, she was a woman living in uh, 21st century, working as a doctor, working 30 hour shift, coming back home to her husband, Perry Styles. only she is the breadwinner, she's a doctor, she works a long hours, she comes back home to a man who is unshaven, who is a weak man, who is sitting behind this computer and not doing much. And when this husband tries to make love to his wife, she denies him by saying, hey, I work too much and I have to wake up in six hours and there is no way I want to have sex. Okay, so what is the point of this movie? So we know that Olivia Wilde is a feminist. What is the point that she's trying to make? So I have to say that movie looks beautiful. There are beautiful colors, beautiful actors, beautiful cars, beautiful uh, dresses, but there are so many loose ends. And while it's still entertaining and kind of holds your attention, I have to, that's just objectively how I felt, there's... Uh, the ending was really bad. There was no point. It, it felt like she was, and the author, the screenwriter, was trying to convey a point. So what does she say about him? She says, this insane man, Jordan Peterson, is a pseudo-intellectual hero to the incel community. He's someone that legitimized certain aspects of their movement because he's a former professor, he's an author, and wears a suit. So they feel like this is real philosophy that should be taken seriously. Well, you know, as a director, you do a research right of what you talk about she hasn't done any research because if she has she would know that this man deeply cares about human suffering and tries to encourage not just men but women as well it just so happens men mostly men are resonated with his philosophy and they watch him online but there are a lot of women including me who do as well and the reason he's so popular is because he's literally saving people's lives saving them from suicide, save, saving them from themselves, from their demons. So what is the point that you're trying to convey Olivia well? So a woman working 30 hour day, coming back home to her weak husband who, who she doesn't desire is a better life than sitting at home, tending to kids, cooking for your husband, greeting your husband, desiring him because the husbands come back home in that movie started with them making love at least you desire him and that's my whole point that yes if a woman is stronger than her men she just doesn't desire him and i'm telling you this as someone who knows sex who studied sex who've been in different dynamics myself and observed many different people and my parents and my grandparents including that when a woman is stronger she starts she doesn't respect her men that much and she does not have sexual attraction towards him she wants someone to look up to, she wants someone to respect, she wants someone to desire. And so the only claim that the main character, Alice, says like, you took that life from me. And yes, Harry Styles' character takes it by force from her. That's, it's wrong, we don't want to do that. He erases, he tries to erase her memory to give her this perfect life where he can be a stronger man. And by the way, Jordan Peterson's character, played by Chris Pine, 
is nothing like Jordan Peterson at all. It just means that they have not done any research. And so this is a true villain. First of all, we don't even, like there's so many loose ends. We don't know what they're doing. What's the secrecy about their project? What is this? And then there's sort of certain shots where they imply that Alice sleeps with this leader, with this Jordan Peterson character or not. So many loose ends. But going back to the philosophy of it, what are you trying to point prove? You're trying to prove that a woman must be strong and be independent and uh, not desire your husband because that's what you show in a movie. No, the woman should be independent and should be with a stronger man. But that's the problem because 80% men are struggling with attracting women. There's these are statistics. There's a these are not my numbers. And yes, Jordan Peterson promotes traditional values, right? And if we go back to 1950s, yes, housewife's world did evolve around husband. And she was kind of trapped in the house, right? She, um, well, someone had to take care of the house and the kids, right? We had no washing machines. We had no contraceptive. That's another big reason why everything has changed when the woman said, okay, I can have now sex without uh, getting pregnant. That's another deeper discussion. I also want to point out if something, if everything was so perfect, then where and why did it go wrong? So that life was not perfect, right? That's why it kind of you know, broke down thinking about communism. Everybody thought in my country, in my surrounding, when I was growing up, that socialism was a perfect idea, but it collapsed because in the reality, it just doesn't work. So the, in the reality, men and women are equally smart. That's also statistics, right? Our IQ is the same. Uh, I remember in my school, there were more girls who were straight A students than boys. So women are smart, but women also experience uh, negative emotions more than men. They suffer deeply. They experience guilt uh, deeper than men. Well, negative emotions overall. When her whole world evolved around you, men, you failed her by betraying her, by going out with other women, uh, by disrespecting her desires too. And then, of course, woman, when she's not certain woman, they're naturally, that's all they want to do. They just want to be moms. There are a number of women like that. But there are some women who are highly intellectual and creative. They want to participate. They want to be a useful member in this society besides being a mom, which is, of course, probably the most important thing, but they want more. And in that sense, life is more difficult for women because they have such a short window of conceiving children. And then also, while men go in at their career, women have to tend to children. So they have to somehow combine their creative desires and to tend to their children. And in that sense, women need a very strong man who represents a structure for her to express who she is fully. So what was the point of the film Laville Wild? That this insane man, Jordan Peterson, tries to create this unrealistic world where women are trapped. No, you actually showed that women were pretty happy living in that world until they saw something they shouldn't have seen. The world was not perfect in the 1950s. We wouldn't uh, come to where we are now if women and men were happier. Let's say women were happier, right? So, but are we happy now living the lives that we are living? I don't know. I don't have uh, the capacity and the data to say one way or another, but there are certainly many miserable women because they don't want to be with weak men and often women choose to be alone. And there are certainly a large number of men who are miserable, who can't attract women. And uh, we need to do something about it. By the way, that's what this channel is about. I'm teaching men how to, how to heal, really. How to heal, how to find that uh, self-worth and uh, power, that inner power within themselves. Because you men are an active force and we need you. We need you strong. Also, the uh, thing that, Jordan Peterson says, in response to I leave a wild common, uh, he says, women are picky and it's your natural born right to be picky. Good for you. Be picky. Inspire men to be better. Because, yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean that, oh, I have a weak man. I have to lower myself somehow to fit to that man. No, it's vice versa. Men have to elevate to the standards of what women want. Well, why not? How is it otherwise around? 
In other words, if I make a hundred thousand dollars a year and my man makes fifty thousand dollars a year, a year, I have to what now? Make fifty thousand dollars a year. In fact, my mom was making more money than my dad, and my grandmother was making more money than my dad, and uh, held higher social status, and no one was happy in those marriages. And there are always exceptions. And if sometimes women make more money than men, then the man, even though he makes less money, he doesn't lose his masculine. He doesn't lose his authority over her. The minute you lose authority over your woman she stops desiring you so that's my little take on the movie don't worry darling directed by olivia wilde and her derogatory insulting comment on jordan peterson yeah she has no idea what she's talking about based on what she said